we've got our print blocks ready. If you didn't see the movie yesterday, you'll have to look at the ones to make a print block. This one's my one. Um, and Tom started, Tom's got um, this fabric. She's got this fabric ink, which actually prints on fabric. He's gonna do one onto a bag. But his ones have turned out beautifully. Look how lovely those little footprints are. From there, there's different ones. And um, the, the, so he's pressing his little foot into the into the printing block because we've got a block. But uh, if you're using paint or ink, um, you can get it onto a flat surface. This one is actually not flat. I found out, um, but it's um, it's it's okay. Um, and well, I'd suggest putting a uh, like a plastic bag or rubble sack onto a table and then rubbing onto that. Um, so we've got this ink here, this type of ink, but you can use um, ready-made paint. Um, this one's more sticky than ready-made paint. It's, it's block printing ink. And um, you can get it in hobby craft or other places. And um, I'll just show you close up how we do that. There. So I squeeze on the I hope this one turns out because the other one didn't. Squeeze the ink on to the surface and we've got a roller as well. You might have to invent a roller if you haven't got one. Sometimes, um, and I've got yellow and um, yellow and blue in here to make it green. You can put that down there, but actually I think I was finding it more successful to roll her onto there. That was better. And then you just print it onto your paper, paper or fabric. I've got fabric here. Let's see if it works this time. <laughs> Let me see. Where is it be bearded? Bit of square. And I don't really know if it was just not rubbing through, so I'm gonna rub it the other side as well. But yeah, that looks good. That looks better on there. So I'll do it again. You can do different colours if you're printing. You can experiment with all sorts of colours and things. Just use the block again and again. You can wash it up in a bit of soapy water. So I'm going to work out how that would go on to make a proper pattern. I don't know if it's matching properly. I'm going to rub it on the bottom again to just make sure... Matched. I was quite surprised at that. Let's have a look. Let's try again. did not aligned. Imagine you making fabric or what could you make out of this? Pillows, bags, what would you what have you got? Duvet covers. What else might you be printing on? Tom? Hmm? What else might you might print on? Bags. Bags. <laughs> oh your bag. Ooh Tom's putting Tom's put his footprints like all over because he did that bag at school. That's right. Just squidge it further into the ink and then rub it on the other side. Like this. Oh yeah, I love that. There you go. There's um, there's just you can go wild with this stuff. If you wash, if I wash that again, then you could get red and do. You could just come. That's that's why you do it is so that you can repeat your pattern again and again with different colours and all sorts of stuff. Um, you could do it onto different. You could do pattern onto pattern. I wonder what that would look like. Maybe I shouldn't be doing this all on the screen. Pattern on a pattern. Yes, seriously. Doesn't work out so well, but you know just kept carrying on experimenting with that. 
think that's it. Make sure you clean up afterwards.